Hey guys, my name is Neil and welcome to Neil Works Zone. So in this episode, we're going to be talking about hemisphere. So in our previous episodes, we talked about, you know, cube, cuboid, cylinder, etc. So if you haven't checked it out, I recommend checking out those episodes because there is a lot of important information that will be used from those episodes in these episodes as well. So without further ado, let's talk about the topic of a hemisphere. So I think we'll talk about sphere in the next episode, but this is basically a sphere and a sphere is a three-dimensional object which has no edges or vertices, we'll talk about it. But um, a hemisphere is basically half sphere. So for example, in the word hemisphere itself, the sphere is the sphere and hemi means half. So half sphere is basically half of the sphere. So for example, if this is a sphere, the half of it would be a hemisphere. So for example, if this was a sphere, then the half of it, so let's say something like this, would be the hemisphere. So now that we have gotten to understand what hemisphere is, now let's actually use the formulas. Now, we will talk about in the future episodes on how to derive these formulas and why we use these formulas. But for now, let's just use these formulas. So, to find out the surface area or the total surface area of a hemisphere, the formula that we can use is 3 pi r square. So, 3 pi r square is well, pretty simple to use. So, for example, let's take the same hemisphere and let's take the radius of it as 7 centimeters or let's take it as 3 centimeters. So if this is 3 centimeters then by plugging in the formula we get p into 22 by 7 into 3 is a 9 into 9. So 27 into 22 by 7 by 1 7 7 so by multiplying it we get 7 so 7 49 4 so it was 14, 18, so 189, or instead of just doing this, we can just take you multiply them, or instead of doing all of this big process, what we could do is we could basically just use the 3.14 formula to make it a lot more simpler, because doing this, you have to do fractions, etc. So instead of doing this, which is another way to do this, it's pretty simple, it's just to multiply this board and so to manage basic multiplication, but to make it a lot more easier, you can directly use the formula of 3.14. So 3.14 into 9, so 20 is 27, 27 into 3.14, so 3.14 into 27, so 70 is 77, 74, 70 is 27, 74 is 28, let's get 2779, 70 is 21, and 2 fours are 8, 2 ones are 2, and 2 is a 6. So 8, 17, 1, 3, 4, and 8. And by put, plugging in the decimals, the answer is 84.78 centimeters square. So this is the total surface area of a hemisphere. So 84.78 centimeters square. So now that we have gotten the answer to this uh, hemisphere, or uh, the total surface area of a hemisphere, now let's actually try to do the curved surface area of a hemisphere. Now, we'll, like I said, we'll talk about how we get this formula in the next episode, but the formula for the total surface area of a hemisphere and the curved surface area of the hemisphere are actually pretty similar. So, the only difference is that in the total surface area, the formula is 3 pi r square, Mayerman on the other hand, for the curved surface area, the formula is 2 pi r square. So, how would you use this in a hemisphere? So by using this formula, by taking the same example, you will get 2 into 22 by 7 or 3.14 into 9, so 9 is 18, 18 into 3.14, so 3.14 into 18, and then 2, 18 from 4, 8, 4, 32, 3, in 1, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then 1 carry, 8 is 24, and 25, 4, 1, 4, 1, and 3. 5, so 2, so 2, 5, 6, 6. So we're plugging in the decimal format, we get 66.52 centimeters square. 
So this is the curved surface area of the hemisphere. So now that we have gotten the total surface area and the curved surface area, now let's try to find out the volume. So to find out the volume, the formula that we need to use is 2 by 3 pi r cube. So by plugging in the same uh, problem that we use so that we don't get confused and by taking the radius 3, let's do this. So 2 by 3 into 3.14 and 3 is a 9 and cube 27. So 3 ones are 3 nines are so 9 twos are 18. So 18 into 3.14. So it's in the 3.14, I think we've done that before, but um, let's take 3.14 into 18, it was red, 32, 2, 3, 8, 1, 0, 8, 19, 11, 1, 8, means 24, 25, let's say next, 4, 1, and 3. So 2, 5, 6, 6. So we got this answer before, but the only difference, or I mean the difference, is in that the answer is ended. I mean the answer ends by centimeter square. On the other hand, the answer here is centimeter cube because it's three dimensional figure and it's cubic but yeah. So the answer for this is 66.52 centimeter cube. So um, yeah. So this is the topic of hemisphere and how we use the formulas and we will talk about spheres in the next episode. But for now, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. And that's all, folks. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.